When, when you turn to God, he says, he gives you a peace that will keep. Guess what? It's the same connotation of the word keep in the prayer in Numbers. May the Lord keep you. When the Bible says that the peace that God gives will keep, it means he will guard and protect your heart and your mind. Stay with me. I'm going somewhere. He will, listen, he will control what you think about. He'll reprogram the motherboard of your mind. He, he, will, he will cause you to think the right thoughts in spite of what you see around you that say that the right thoughts are the wrong thoughts. He will program your mind and keep your mind stayed on him. Watch this now. He will affect your knower. Y'all missed it. Your, your, your ability to know. He'll keep your knower. So that in spite of the darkness and the trial and the problem that you face, even with his light shining, listen to me, he'll keep your mind. And he'll keep your mind to such a degree that there are some things, in spite of what else that's going on, there's some things that I know. Some of y'all got to quit going off of mama's testimony. You got to quit going off the testimony of what God did way back yonder. You got to have something up in here, up in here that you know beyond the shadow of a doubt. You may waver and quake sometimes, but you ought to know something about the true and living God. God, I feel it. Come on, Jimmy, let's go. Watch this. Here we go. He blesses your knower. Well, Paul, what must I know? Ah, you ask good questions up in here. So Paul speaks in Romans 8 and 28. Thank you, Lord. And he says, and we... God, I'm... And we know... Because he's protecting my knower. Because he's guarding my mind. In spite of all the hell going on around me, I do know one thing. I do know that all things will work together for my good. I'm